welcome today we're gonna do a vi video <laughs> on growing jicama vine um, these are oh this is a jicama um, vegetable it's a root and you will find them in most tropical countries and you know especially in Vietnam is very common and it's quite cheap but here in Perth because we're a temperate zone, very difficult to grow. Most of these are transported from Darwin, which is at the top of Australia, where it's mostly tropical. So they grow them up there and they transported them down here. And I've never seen them below $15 a kilo. Very expensive. But um, if you go to most Asian tropical country, you might see a lot of these in food, especially in soup base, stir fry, or you can actually eat them raw. It's quite yummy. It's very crunchy and sweet. They're also similar to, um, I think, yakon, which is like another name for it is apple of the earth. Now, they're quite different plant altogether. This one is a vine. And the yakon is like a plant. I had one growing before, but it died, so I can't show you one today. Um, but anyway, so this is Go Sang in Vietnamese, and um, we love it very much. And it's the first time we're trying it. Got some seed from the internet. This is from America. Um, and the best method to try and germinate this is the paper towel method. Put them in a Ziploc bag, I mean soak them in with the paper towel, Ziploc bag, make sure it's not too damp and leave it for one week. Once it starts to sprout, put them into a your seedling tray or you can put them in a product like a, one of these small pot things. Um, and just leave them in the hothouse and that will give it the best chance to sprout. Um, I would say the success rate is quite low. Um, we tried it many times and often the seed will just rot away. Also, the other thing I should mention is um, try and germinate it in the springtime or summer. That will give it a good chance to grow. This has been uh, three months and as you can see it's starting to kind of like need more room to crawl outwards and we only have two growing at the at the moment um, I grow them in potting mix and give it seaweed extract fertilizer every now and then um, the other thing I would say is this vine is very poisonous so um, I wouldn't recommend eating it or anything so I'll have to wait to see once it starts to die down whether it will produce a fruit. I mean, sorry, a vegetable. <laughs> so um, I'll let you know and keep you updated on the progress of growing Jikama vine. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. Bye. They say it's a matter of time, a thousand days and the sun won't shine. Before I come back to you When I'm happy Nothing's going to stop me I'm making my way home I'm making my way